The Elgato Face Cam Neil. Is it a game changer or just another gimmick? What's going on, you wonderful people? I'm Brandon, and welcome to Creighton TV. So today, we're going to be diving into the world of streaming with the Elgato Face Cam Neil. Is it worth the hype? Let's find out. Disclaimer. No, this video here is not being sponsored at all, but Elgato did reach out and send me the Elgato Face Cam Neo. So thank you, Elgato, for sending me the Face Cam Neo. Great video, made easy. Face Cam Neo. Check out the unboxing. Elgato did change up their packaging itself with their uh, making going all eco friendly. Greatness starts now. Oh, there it is right there. A lot smaller than I expected. So here's your, can't wait to try this out. So this is the mount that you can mount. On your monitor if not you want to put it on a tripod so check that out there the face cam neo itself put that off to the side nothing else in there besides packaging if you want to learn about it you can always scan that qr code there pretty clean pretty clean so check out the face cam neo wow pretty small it is USB-C, nice braided cable. Uh, it does come with a cover on top. You know, if you want it for privacy, the light and your threading mount. So like this, bring this open, thread this in here. Do it just like that. Sets up on the mount. Pretty clean, pretty clean. A face cam Neo is a plug and play webcam that can capture everyday meetings, such as live streams, videos, smooth sharp gameplays and it is 1080p by 60 fps let's see what it looks like set up let's check it out for the setup process using the face cam neo it is a nice braided cable you do get USB-C. So if you're using a Mac like me, you got two options you know if you want to use to have more ports you can use a dongle it's plugged into your Mac or just plug it straight into the Mac by itself and we're gonna try it straight into the Mac itself plug my capture card in Plug the face cam Neo into the Mac once it's plugged in. It's all plug and play. Now let's just test out the video quality of the camera. Okay, so there is face cam Neo. It's set up on my monitor for gaming. It is USB-C, so I did just plug it straight into the MacBook. You can do plug and play design. Um, you can use a dongle if you want to, you know, plug everything else. But if you can check out my Mac, you got my capture card plugged in, the face cam Neo, charger, and then my ex uh, external hard drive. Now you're like, oh man, I run out of ports. So that's where you come with the options of using the dongle. This is USB-C and the USB-C port is on the backside of that right now, especially if you want to use like microphone setup and everything else. Showing you right now, it's plugged in. And let me show you how it looks on QuickTime using the Mac. And then from there, I'll show you how to set it up in Streamlabs desktop on Mac OS. Here we go right now. So I'm gonna show you what the two comparisons between the Facecam Neo and the budget-friendly Logitech C922. This is the Facecam Neo. Doesn't really do justice with the window lights in right here. Even if I close the window, see how I get more, it's like more darker. It's trying to adjust to the background and the color of the room. And if I turn on my lights, you know, it does help out a little bit. They're at 100%, 100% for all three lights. If I bring it down to about 50%, you still see it. You can get by with this, but you still have to make adjustments. Everything else, yeah, you will have to make adjustments. It's trying to get on that. So I can make the face cam Neo get better if I bring it closer to my subject or, you know, face it away from the window light. That way the window light reflects off of it and goes from there. And that's at 50% on with my lights on. So if I turn my lights off, you know, you just have to set up the face cam Neo where it's it, trying to focus right now. Trying to have to set up face cam Neo where it's, you know, focusing and has the light to reflect off to make the, the lens on the face cam Neo even better. And this is the Logitech C922. It was a budget webcam that I bought and had it since um for since starting out when, when I went to streaming and you know record videos or set up stuff on Streamlabs. This is also HD 1080p. Right now this may be at 720. I don't know. You tell me. And this is because this one is just straight on and the face cam Neo is setting off over here to the side. So you guys let me know which you know one is better. If I open the window right here, it may help out the Logitech a little even better. It just looks like, you know, the background you can see it looks a little fuzzy and everything like just off. So I'm trying to, you know, be more focused. That's why I'm not trying to be so close because I'd be too close. To it's trying to refocus itself. So you guys let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. What you know? They're both good budget friendly webcams and which one you think. So this one here again is the Logitech C922. I don't know if they still sell it. It might. 
like. If they do, I'll leave a link to it down in the description box down below. But here is Elgato Basecamp Neo, and I'll leave a link to this one down in the description box down below. A little affiliation link. You can also get it from Target if you want to. You can make the Facecam Neo even better, and I'm going to show you that right now. This is what you want to do. To make the Facecam Neo even better, you want to come over to Elgato's website. You want to go over here to download. From downloads, if you're using a Mac just like me, you want to uh, click on make sure your filter by system is set to Mac. If you're using Windows, then click on the Windows. But for my Mac people, you want to make sure you download the Camera Hub. This does help to make uh, Facecam Neo even better quality. So download that. After you have downloaded the Elgato Camera Hub, go through the allow steps to allow it on your Mac computer. Um, here's what it looks like when you open it up right now. Let me see if I can get myself in frame and focus. So checking out the camera hub, you can see the input does say face cam Neo, and then you can use, turn your iPhone into a webcam. Just click here and then learn more about Epoch cam. That's an app that you have to download from the iOS um, app store. Uh, you can, you got to let you know your format. Here's your frame. You can zoom in, so you can get kind of closer. Don't want to be too close. Uh, it does give you presets to zoom in wherever you would like to be checking it out right there, but going through the camera hub focus it is set right now to auto focus if i toggle it off i'll be out of focus and it makes it look more like that as you can see so this is just the basics of the camera hub if you want to go in here and you want to be able to make adjustments to your face cam neo or El any elgato face cam that you are using you know this is what you use or if you're using the actual camera but with the face cam neo you know you can change your picture contrast your uh, make your sharpness uh, exposure white balance your processing it also comes with effects if you have the elgato prompter you can set that up in here also uh, me this is just downloaded it right off the website basic i haven't touched nothing yet and right now with my three lights on and me sitting next to the window is my lights are at 50 percent if i close the window a little bit you can see that now it makes the face cam neo be able to do more justice you can see though and if i open up the window the more you open up window light the face cam neo does more better when it's beneficial to like closer to yourself so if I put it like over here and face it away from the window light, and you can see that now it gets more brighter and everything. I watch what happens when I turn my lights off. So if I turn my lights off, it, it still be okay, but better than what Logitech showed. So you guys let me know what you think about this. This does better. So once I get this fully set up and where I'm going to place this face cam Neo, then I know it'll do way better without the light and I can just leave the windows the way it is. If I go, you know, back to where I was at, you see how it gets darker real, real quick because trying to adjust to the lighting, the background. So, but it is put, putting out that 1080p. So if I turn my lights back on, they're at 50%. This is at 100% brightness, all my lights. So, you know, if I wanted to stay right here and just have to keep making adjustments, but if I go over here, keep it, you now you see that it looks way more better quality than what it was putting out before. So what do you think about this? Let me know in the comment section down below. Would you rather have the face cam Neo or that uh, old webcam that I have, the Logitech C922, which was a good starter webcam, but the face cam Neo is even better starter uh, webcam. You just got to make sure that you light your subject uh, correctly so it can do justice for your videos or your streaming because if you don't you get this type of and then it'll start to look like this especially when i had it pointed the other way this is what it looked like with the lights off terrible so you don't want to do that you always want to make sure you know adjust yourself accordingly but let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below here's how you set it up in Streamlabs. so once you have your scenes already created on Streamlabs, whatever you're going to have i have two already you know the 4kx and the game catcher neo but right now we're just going to use the scene of the 4kx no there will not be no gameplay the way you want to set up the Elgato Facecam Neo is after you have your scene set up, you come over here to sources, click the little plus icon that's right here, click on that. You want to go over here and you want to add a, a video capture device and right there, hit add source, and then um, they'll be in there like as your capture cards and stuff like that. But you want to hit add new source down here if you haven't already, enable to whatever you want. I'm going to name it Facecam Neo, hit add source, and then from the drop down menu, you want to select this Elgato Facecam Neo from the drop down menu. And right now it has the preset set to 1080, but we're going to switch that resolution to 1920 by 1080. You have 60 FPS or 30, but you know, 30 is fine. And then you can leave everything else as it is. From there, you want to hit done. And then I normally come over here to uh, your mixer settings and I will tap on the little gear icon that's right here and hit I. That's how you add it in Streamlabs desktop. Pretty quick and simple. So the Facecam Neo, pretty awesome, right? Plug and play design, easy to set up with OBS, Streamlabs, or any streaming software that you are using out there. You've seen the comparison between the Logitech C922 webcam and the Facecam Neo. 
Neo webcam? Which would you pick? Me? I'm still gonna pick the Facecam Neo. There's more that you can do with that, especially with the Elgato's camera hub, and you're making it more better to your liking and your streaming software, which is pretty great. Can pick it up at Target, so that's pretty good. It is $99.99, so nice budget-friendly webcam, $100 to get you started in your own streaming software. Well, you let me know. What do you think about the Elgato Facecam Neo? Will you be purchasing it? Could you see yourself using it in your streaming software? Me, I will be using it some more and bringing more videos dedicated to it. Real question I want to ask you guys are, do you think I can do a full setup with, the, uh, with an iPad using all Neo products? Leave your comments down in the comment section down below. That being said, you can check out this video right here if you want to learn more about Elgato Neo products. And that being said, it's your boy Brandon coming to you from Creighton TV. And I'll see you over there and I'm signing out of here. Peace.